Right. Now we bring in uh, via Skype, Tony P. How are you, Tony P? Ricky. I'm mean, sorry, Ricky P. I'm sorry, Ricky P. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry about that, Ricky. How are you, sir? I'm great. I'm great. Oh, good. I'm wonderful. It's, well, good. It's finally, uh, it's good to have you on. Where are you this morning? Um, I'm sitting uh, in the uh, the bar area at uh, Rue at uh, 4205 uh, South McDill. Uh, well, we're very excited to introduce you to uh, our our viewers here here at the Wake Dot Show, and I bring you in bring you in as our first uh, uh, sponsor, our first partnership. And so I uh, was talk we were talking about how we want to do this, and <laughs> it all disappeared. You still there? <laughs> yeah. All right, I can still hear him then. Um, we were talking about uh, how we want to uh, bring you in the shows, and incorporate you into uh, what we're doing here, and uh, one of the, you're our first client, you're our first partner. So I wanted to get you guys on the air and just say hello, introduce myself and Johnny, if you don't know Johnny, and uh, get to know more about you guys and Rue, because hopefully this is something that lasts a, a very long time for us. So now when I first brought you up this morning, Ricky P, uh, Johnny goes, is that the same Ricky P uh, from uh, uh, so Cajun restaurants here in town? And so you, yeah. you've got a history in this That's town me. yourself. So let's talk about your CVs and uh, where you trained and, and the cooking you've done over your life. Okay. Well, I, um, I, I grew up and so just by that itself gives you a uh, uh, sort of a, an understanding of, of a relationship to, to this food. My mother is full, full-blooded Cajun lady out of Thibodeau, Louisiana. And so uh, having a Cajun mother in New Orleans cooking, which is basically Creole, um, and working my way through school as a, as a sandwich maker and a cook in local restaurants, I had an affinity for this, uh, this type of uh, cooking and, and, and have a passion for it. Uh, but I actually spent 30 years in the broadcast industry. I was, uh, Did you? I, I got into the advertising side of the radio business and uh, made, a, made a good career. I, I, I was recruited to, to be the, the general sales manager at a local rock station back in the 80s. and uh, Here in town? Yeah. Here? Oh, yeah. 90, the old 95 YNF. What? 95 uh, what? You were, my, at, uh, you were at the historic my, 95 YNF. I'm sorry, say again? You were at the historic uh, YNF, 95 YNF back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, no I was kidding. part of that uh, that crew that uh, uh, when, when CBS bought us in uh, 1985, at that particular point, it turned the market upside down with, if you're stickers putting uh, down, um, am I still with you? Yeah, yeah, we're still here. Yeah, too, the connection's okay. a little uh, spotty, but we're getting there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over here, but, uh, but it, was, uh, it was a, it, you know, just a, a, an interesting time in my life but, uh, for the next 30 years. I've been in this market 34 years now. But 10 years ago, my wife and I started, uh, we decided to create a second career, and we opened up Ricky over in uh, St. Petersburg, and I wanted to do an authentic New Orleans representation of the classic po' boy sandwich, and uh, we opened up a full-service restaurant in downtown, and it was quite popular, and because of all the hustle and bustle in the downtown area, we got squeezed out uh, on the rent, and uh. ended up on fourth street again and unfortunately that wasn't the right location for us so uh, i contacted the perry's roger and suzanne and said i love L louisiana cooking and i love rue it's a great uh, louisiana representation you have a spot for someone with with my uh, with my background and so we collaborated to create uh, a, a lunch menu that uh, features primarily the the po' boys that um uh, I'm so in love with. Yeah, and Rue has been around for uh, some time, but you guys just started serving lunch here in the last couple of months, right? Correct, correct. Uh, Rue started in uh, 2014, I believe, and so um, and, and it's a fabulous restaurant. It gets great reviews on on all of the uh, trip advisors and in Google, and and uh, we just got uh, uh, reviewed by USA Today, and we're one of the top ten restaurants in Tampa. Nice. So, Congratulations. Uh, yeah, they're doing things the right way. They, they have a commitment to, you know, putting the, uh, the love and the attention into the preparation of the food that uh, I'm very familiar with coming from Louisiana. And so they weren't open for lunch, though. And so they, they thought that the, the, the right way to bring me into the mix, so to speak, was to 
reintroduced because they did have lunch when they first opened, but they backed away from it. So we've reintroduced lunch as of November 1st and um, it's starting to take, starting to really uh, pick up some speed. Um, now, let's talk about Po' Boys real quickly because uh, I was just in New Orleans okay. uh, this past week, this past uh, year for a wedding. And uh, had a so I had my fair share of you know Cajun food balls there, and the po boys that I got came with gravy. Yeah. Um, but I when I order a po po boy here in Tampa, and I say with gravy, they look at me like I'm a moron and go, "Well, we have we have a sauce that comes with it, but it's not a gravy." Uh, what's it mean when you get a po boy with gravy in Louisiana? Well, the number one. Uh uh, po boy in, in New Orleans is a uh, roast beef. It's a sliced roast beef, and it's simmering in uh, a very savory roux-based uh, brown gravy. Mm. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, oh. a roast beef. And the whole concept is is that you take this eye of the round and um, you slice it very thin, and you put it in this gravy, and then you take the, the sandwich, you cut cut the bread open. One side has mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and pickle. We call that dressed. You get your poor boy dressed or undressed. And then on the other side, you stack the, the meat. And, and there's no portion control in this concept. It's taking, taking the gravy with some, some tongs and putting it on the bread. And the gravy's dripping all over the place. And then you cut it in half and you, you send it out with six or seven napkins because you're going to need them. That's delicious. And that's 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 what makes it a that's what makes it so flipping delicious. Is it's just it's just you know uh, think of Sunday at your mama's house with roast beef and gravy and mashed potatoes and put it all on a sandwich. The, although the potatoes are on the side is in the form of French fries, which are not pretty bad with with uh, the roast beef gravy over the top of them. Mm. But uh, it's it's just it's decadent. It's uh, it, you should you should be you should take it home. And take all your clothes off and eat it in the shower, so you can just take a shower afterwards. I'm not worry about all this stuff running down your arms and over your chest and everything. So, it's a uh, it's that kind of sandwich. Uh, on uh, on the Wake Dot Show today, Ricky P from uh, Rue, and uh, it's it's interesting because when you first started talking and you're from. You're from, you know, the swamps of Louisiana. I'm like that does not right. sound. I do not. You. I do not hear an accent there. But then you say you 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 made your way into broadcast for a little while. So were you like me? Because I'm from a little redneck town here in Florida. It called Oco. Uh-huh. And there was a time in my early teens where I realized uh, I don't know what it was. Something was in my head that I needed to start paying attention more to my speech because I wanted to be successful one day. And I felt like if I were speaking like the people around me, that wasn't going to happen. Well, it's it, it, the the one thing that's sort of a misunderstanding about New Orleans is that it's not a traditional Louisiana Southern town like you see in Swamp People or on the movies. It really is a cosmopolitan city. It's a port city, so you have English and French and Spanish and Irish and German and all of these dialects that are coming together. And the true New Orleans dialect is almost like a Bronx. It's like, hey, Annie, let's go over to La Uzes and let's get some oysters, and then we'll go over to Darlene's, and we'll see if she's call, and then we'll go out to the lakefront and we'll make out all night. So that's really <laughs> what a New Orleans accent is. That's great. Now, where I, what, what happened to me is the same thing that happened to you. When I was in high school, I had a real um, uh, affinity. I, I, I was part of, I was a baseball player and a, and a football player, but I also had an affinity for, for theater, and I wanted to uh spend some time in that and so the drama teacher actually took me under his wing and i got involved with extemporaneous speaking and some some uh, speech tournaments and things like that so i started developing uh an affinity for uh the way that i talk and and so forth so i i, I kind of trained myself away from the casual uh dialects that that can occur in the in the deep south so, so, so now so now people peg you for midwest more, more often than not, you know, and, and there are things, you know, I still drop my G's. I'm drinking and fishing and swimming and hunting and, I can't you know, it. I don't, you know, I got to be careful to put the, you know, the swimming and drinking, you know, to put the G's on it. But uh, it's, uh, it's fun. And, and, and again, there's a stereotypical way that New Orleans people talk that, uh, you know, is misrepresented in the movies uh, 99% of the time. So. Hey. 
but my Cajun, my Cajun uh, family, you know, it's like, uh, hey, Ricky P, what's your ass doing? I say, come on, come on, why? It's uh, it's 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 actually kind of funny because my cousins, who I absolutely love, their last name is Grandier. Um, they do sound like the guys on Swamp. Swamp <laughs> oh yeah, I've, I've got yeah. a brother who sounds like the guys on Swamp Thing too, and he's not even from from there. Johnny's got a question for you. Hey, Chef. Uh, so uh, you, I don't want to make assumptions because we're obviously, but uh, you know, whether you're in Louisiana or you're here in the Tampa Bay area, we're on the Gulf Coast. Uh, are there any challenges, right, to meet an authentic? New Orleans menu, uh, you know, a Cajun menu uh, being, you know, again, that we are uh, quite separated, but still on the yeah. Gulf Coast. Well, you know, the um, uh, there's an amazing company called Cisco. Uh, Cisco Foods. <laughs> it's funny that brother and, I was talking about works for them. Well, and, and, and they are uh, aware of the, the popularity of, uh, of type of cuisine. So, one of the big things that happens is, can you get the authentic andouille sausage that uh, is in a lot of the dishes that are from Louisiana? Can you get the right bread, you know, the French bread that comes out of New Orleans? Can you get the right spices? And, you know, and I've got contacts back in New Orleans that, you know, when it's crawfish season, which comes up right after the first of the year, I can fly in crawfish on Southwest Airlines and their, and their baggage, and it's goes right to the airport and I'm picking up, you know, 200 pounds of live oh, crawfish wow. that were swimming in the, uh, you know, in, in, in the swamps and in the, in the bayous two days ago and, and boil them right here in, in Tampa Bay. So, you know, the, the world is our oyster now, you know, when it comes to getting these products and, um, and we get oysters from Louisiana too. And this is what we're talking about. So it really, um, the whole, the whole popularity of New Orleans and Louisiana cooking that it's become, you know, top of mind awareness. And a lot of the people that are interested in food and ethnic foods, especially, um, we can get those products pretty readily. Yes. Uh, well, uh, Ricky P, we appreciate you coming on the uh, air with us today. Before we get you off, because you guys have a new lunch menu there at Rue, which is uh, located on McDill. Yes. Not only do you have those big, hearty uh, po' boys, but you have some lighter fare on the menu as well. Oh sure, we've got the we've got some amazing salads. Uh, we have this um, uh, rotisserie chicken salad that we actually uh, uh, have a rotisserie here at the restaurant, and we uh, season it up uh, very nicely. Then we 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 strip it. We basically instead of cutting the the chicken, we actually pull it apart and mix it with um, um, with gravy. <laughs> no. <laughs> We, we season it and uh, and cre you know with uh, with some apple. We also put apples and, and grapes in there, and then we put it into a uh, a bed of romaine lettuce and with a, a drizzle of our our own house uh, sort of a Cajun ranch dressing, and it's delicious. And then we have the traditionals, you know the uh, the jambalaya and the gumbos and the crawfish etouffee and and things like that. So um, it's a great great place for lunch. And if you you know if you're busy and you can't get over here you know we've got uber uh you know delivering uber eats uh is uh and amazon actually are delivering for us so um you don't worry about getting here we'll get to you all right and, do, and lastly do you have beignets i guess that's a well not yet okay because i know that's um, a fryer because that's a different that's a different piece of equipment if you're going to bring that into the uh you know well, here's we've got the fryers, but what you need is you need a dedicated fryer because you don't want to be frying beignets in the same fry oil that you're doing chicken or our oysters or fish in. So, what you really need to do is is do that, and we're in the process of of working those things out. I've got a really good recipe that um, that we had over at the other restaurant at my restaurant that uh, I haven't introduced it yet here, but. It's in the works. It's coming. Well, thank you so much for being on the air with us today at the uh, Wake Dot Show. Make sure you check out Rue. They are open for business now at 11 a.m., 11 to 2 for lunch, and then 4 to 10. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, and that is located on McDill, South McDill. Uh, we will talk to you soon. Have you into the studio, hopefully here by the end of the week. That's great. Starving. Thank you. you. All right. Take okay. care.